In this tutorial, I'm going to explain the difference between contacts, suggested contacts, and the address book. As you can see in this profile, I have one email account, and when I switch to the contacts navigation pane, you'll see that in Outlook 2010, I have two contacts folders. One is the contacts, which has all of my contacts in it. The suggested contacts are the addresses of people I've sent mail to that are not in my contacts folder. The address book is a virtual view of the contacts folder. You can see that I've got three contacts here. One has just a business fax, one is an email address, and the other one is a business fax number for the person with the email address. One of the contacts is not listed here because that person does not have an electronic address, which would be an email address or a fax number. If I select the address book drop down, you'll see that I have suggested contacts listed here also. When you create a new email message and click the To button, you should see everything that's listed in your address book and you'll also have the drop down. If you don't have a fax modem set up on your computer, you can open the contact, add F to the beginning of the phone number so that it won't show up in the address book. Now when you click the address book or click the to button, you'll only see contacts that have email addresses. When you start a new email message and begin typing, you'll see some names drop down. This is called the autocomplete list. This is the list of the people that you've most recently sent email to. If you want to remove a name from the list, you can click the delete button. In older versions of Outlook, you can use the arrow key to select items and then press the delete key. If you click the To button and your addresses are not available, first make sure that Name Only is selected instead of More Columns in the search box. This will display your names. If you have more contacts folders listed in the navigation pane and only see one contacts folder, go to the navigation pane, right click on the contacts folder and choose Properties, and then click on Address Book and make sure that it's enabled to show this folder as an email address book. Now when you click on the To button, you'll see both sets of folders. 